Hi, welcome back to another focus point lesson, this time on the topic of nightlife. So lots of casual everyday English that I hope you'll find really useful. Take a listen, then we'll review, then we will check. That is the order. These are all of the focus points that are gonna be discussed today. My question for you, which one of these is used with the word lively? Take a listen and try not to look at the subtitles. Nightlife, mm, well, Clubs aren't really my scene, but if you want some good bar, restaurant type places, then I've got you covered. I know a great Mexican place that has incredible food and a nice selection of cocktail -y drinks. It is a little bit pricey though. Another one that comes to mind is this chicken grill place. It's perfect if you're going with a larger group as it has a nice lively vibe. It's great if some people are just after drinks because you can order as much or as little as you want. It's also a little more budget friendly. I'll link you the addresses. All right, did you get it? She said a nice, lively vibe. There it is. And do not worry, we will go into a bit more detail of these phrases in a moment. But these are the comprehension questions we'll go through at the end. Pause now if you want to take a quick look. But if you're okay with that, here is the review. This is the color coding. Let's look at everything she said. Nightlife. Well, clubs aren't really my scene. So my guess here is that the person she's talking to asked her about nightlife in general, or maybe about clubs. And she's saying that, that clubs are not her scene. They are not her topic of interest. It's not something that she either enjoys or knows well. Rock concerts are totally my scene. You can also say my vibe. This is a different kind of vibe from the warm up question. So just keep that in mind and we'll compare the two later. But there's actually a strong connection. And you can also say my jam, my specialty, lots of ways of saying that it's something that you're into. But if you want some good bar restaurant type places, then I've got you covered. So to say I've got you covered, it means to be able to help someone with a payment, could be money related or with a task. Don't worry, I've got you covered, or I've got you. It is not the same as covering for someone, which often means to help them out by lying for them. So she's saying she's able to help if you want good bar restaurant places, not clubs, because that's not her scene, that's not her specialty or something she's knowledgeable about. I know a great Mexican place that has incredible food and a nice selection of cocktail -y drinks. So she's helping them out by giving an example. She's using cocktail -y, a made up word to give the image that these drinks are kind of fancy looking, I suppose. It is a little bit pricey though. It's a little bit expensive. Second page, another one that comes to mind is this chicken grill place. So if you say something comes to your mind or comes to mind, it means that you've recalled it, you've thought of an idea, something along those lines. I asked her where she wanted to eat. She said, nowhere comes to mind. So many people in relationships right now going, yes, why is that? It also means to occur to someone or to pop into someone's head. So another one, another restaurant that comes to mind, it's just, oh, I suddenly recall it, is this chicken grill place. It's perfect if you're going with a larger group as it has a nice, lively vibe. So this type of vibe is an atmosphere or an energy. It's a feeling of a place. The hair salon played quiet jazz music. It gave the place a relaxed vibe. Or you can also use it to describe a person. He gave off creepy vibes. So before, when we said something is my vibe, you could say quiet jazz music, that's my vibe. Loud rock concerts, that's not really my vibe. I think you can see how they're linked together there. It's great if some people are just after drinks, if they just want that one thing. I'm just after a fun time. She's just after some peace and quiet. It's a phrase that means nothing else. I just want that thing. So if they're just after drinks, they don't want to order any food. It's great for those people because you can order as much or as little as you want. It's also a little more budget friendly, a compound word that would be the opposite of pricey or expensive, which was mentioned earlier. I'll link you the addresses. 
Okay, so let's go back to those comprehension questions. What's the downside, the negative side, to the Mexican place? The Mexican place was the first place she talked about. She said it is a little bit pricey though. So I would say it's the cost, it's quite expensive. Does the speaker go to restaurants a lot? Well, they said at the beginning that clubs are not their scene, but I've got you covered. I can help you out if you want recommendations for good bars and restaurants. So I would say that they're definitely implying they go to restaurants quite often and know quite a lot of choices. And the last question, why might a larger group of people prefer the chicken grill place? Well, she said a few things. So take a quick pause if you wanna try and find them. I wrote three answers. Firstly, she mentioned the nice lively vibe. I'd say that's definitely one of the reasons a larger group might enjoy it. She also talks about the ability to order a lot or a small amount. That's also another benefit. And it's also budget friendly, so it's a good price as well. All of those I put in there as answers. So when you go out, what kind of vibe do you enjoy? Do you like a nice, quiet, relaxed vibe? Or do you like something more lively? Let me know in the comments and good job today. See you soon.